right quick guys before I get up out of here I'm gonna make a short 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 video if you guys have a truck rig and uh, your engine fan won't won't shut off you don't check all your uh, you don't check all your wiring you don't check all your sensors you getting power out of everything your AC is fine and high pressure switch is fine and but you still your uh, fan would not shut off and uh, basically the ground comes from the ECM that goes to the solenoid and make a long story short the override switch which is right here is what your solenoid ground goes to so what I discovered is if I can do it, you know, by myself. I got my multimeter here. Sorry for the mess, guys. So what I end up doing, of course, I'm gonna run the wires a whole lot better. So I put the probe the multimeter on continuity. And what I discovered is the wiring that's coming, that's coming from the uh, override switch inside, it wasn't getting, con you know, cause the, the cylinder works off whether uh, the fan clutch is getting ground or not. You know, it's of course it'll have 12, 12 volt uh, constantly power, but it runs off the ground. So what my pro issue was, I wasn't getting continuity on the ground. And the reason why I know that is because I tested the original wire, which is, I spliced it, but of course I'm gonna clean it up better than this, but of course I got it on continuity, so. Here's me probing it to the original wire, which is here. I hope this doesn't confuse you guys. I cut a whole bunch of cut some wires to uh, make this video. So this is the original wire that's coming from the firewall, which is back up in here. All right. So I got my ground probe on that, and I will find. This is kind of hard by myself, but I'm gonna try my very, very, very best. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. I, you know, I'm trying, but it's hard. Okay, just listen for the sound of my multimeter. So this is the the wire that's uh, coming from the uh, override button, the original wire house right to the solenoid. As you can see, you hear no sound, but you have a reading of 542. Okay, so this is what I did. I ran me a wire from the override switch that's inside and I ran it through my firewall myself because somewhere in between the original wire and the uh, uh, override switches have a short somewhere so instead of me taking down all those wires and running the wires all through the firewall and they stay in there so I just ran me just a fresh wire and what I end up doing is cutting in between the ground from the uh, override to the actually harness right here so as you can see I cut from here to here and I ran a wire my fresh wire which is here that's running all the way up to my uh, uh, switch that's inside so I'm gonna test this wire out you should hear continuity out of my multimeter with the long beat twice okay, let's see you hear that so that's continuity. So my issue was, I wasn't getting continuity out of my original wire, which is causing my fan to stay on. Uh, you know, you see it's some, it's some videos on YouTube, you know, which is good, good videos, and they tell you why your fan's staying on, but you know, they don't necessarily get into the uh, electrical side of things. I did have a manual switch in here, but the thing with the manual switch is, it's hard to, I would say electrical wise, with the manual switch, it's hard to uh, have a good AC running while you have a manual switch because it's, the ECM is timed to, to come on at a certain time when the fan clutch and the free gun to cool it down. And I know you wouldn't know with your finger to know when to switch it on and switch it off by reading temps all day long while you're driving. So it's best to get that issue fixed and <coughs> um, run uh, to figure out why your MC is not, you know, 
it's not flipping the cylinder off and on now if you do want to bypass all that things and and you just want to get off the side of the road or off a trip and you just want to uh, have a manual switch to turn your fan off and on the electrical wire, electrical way all you have to do is just find a ground you're in the ground in your truck so you find the ground here and then your, your cylinder switch which would be the negative side if you do your switch like this hopefully it's, you know some people be red and black but the white side is the ground so you just take a wire from that ground which i just showed you and run it up to here and get you a toggle switch you can get you a toggle switch from uh, a cheap one for like walmart get you a toggle switch and run a toggle switch from that ground to the in to the inside so you'll be basically controlling the ground yourself and that'll turn your fan off and on because you're taking away the ground and you're giving it ground you know that'll get you off the side of the road or from a long trip to keep your truck from burning up or some major other issues but uh, hopefully this this helps somebody uh, yeah so yeah, I try to make the video short sorry guys it was so long but I uh, hope it was informational but uh,